What's up everyone, it's James here and today we're going to be talking about an issue that I ran into when I first tried to fire up my 75S drone by Beta FPV. So let's jump right into it and take a look at what I was seeing when I first received my motors, flight controller, tried to put them all together and then tried to arm my drone. Alright guys, so here we are taking a look at the drone and as you can see I got the flight controller hooked on, batteries hooked in and the motors and propellers, everything's hooked up. This is how I got the parts from Beta FPV right out of the box. Um, when I went to arm it, this is what happened. As you can see, only two of the motors are spinning. I was a little surprised as to why this was happening. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right over to Clean Flight or Beta Flight, whichever one you prefer. And then we'll take a look and see how to fix this issue so you guys can get flying. All right guys, so here we are in Beta Flight. If you wanna do this in Clean Flight, feel free to. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into Beta Flight. Go ahead and connect your micro USB to your tiny whoop or drone and let's go ahead and connect. As you can see, mine's a little bit off the way it's sitting, but that's okay. It obviously is still calibrated correctly. Go ahead and go to the configuration tab. And what we're actually gonna be checking is, is this number right here. So what's happening right now is when I arm my drone, it's signaling to a default value of 1010. And that's actually a little too low to get all four of these props spinning. So to fix this issue, we're actually gonna go over to the motors tab. And I know a lot of times they say to take your props off. In this case, you do wanna keep them on because you wanna be able to tell when they start spinning. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this. And then for master, there's a little trick that I saw on, a, on different videos. If you just click this right here, you can incrementally increase the values using the up and down button on your keyboard, which makes it a lot easier and much more safer. So once you've reached this point, guys, go ahead and plug your battery in if you haven't already. Um, just keep in mind that your propellers are on, so you don't want you to slip and turn the master all the way up or any of the motors all the way up. To be safe, just make sure to click this and then use the keyboard to go up or down. As seen here, you can see it incrementally changes by one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly increase all four motors until each of them begin spinning. And so right now I've, I've got four on my personally i have four going right now so it looks like all four are going at 10 35. so just to be safe normally want to add 15 20 or so to this number so what i'm going to do is you know my number's right around 1035. i'm going to go back over to the configurations tab and i'm going to put in 1050 just to keep it even 135 plus 15 then that will put it up to 1050. i'm going to go ahead and save and reboot all right guys, so here we are after making the change in beta flight. We got everything saved and rebooted, everything hooked back up with a battery. Let's go ahead and arm the motors and see what happens. Nice, so as you can see, all four motors spinning properly as soon as they're armed. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope it helped any issues you were having when you went to arm your motors, whether it was straight out of the box or after a previous run. If this video helped you out, feel free to like and subscribe below. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.